Pay 
said she comes to me with a thousand smiles she gives to me free it's all right it's all right it's all right take anything four days ago, so it's still really rusty. It's actually a two-part song, it's actually with an instrumental that leads nicely into the actual song.
that was Jaco. Wow. There's a man from Planet Pittsburgh here. I think the man from Planet Pittsburgh would like to end this show with a few words. Ready man from Planet Pittsburgh. <laughs> What are you doing, Francis? You're deceiving me here. Well? Okay, we were talking about our Christmas hit, Jesus the Snowman. He'll be back again someday. <laughs> Okay, do it. Okay. So Francis, what do you do for a living? I'm a big bad rock and roll musician. That's right. And I love the crowd with all my heart and soul. Because I'm in love with the spotlights. But they are stopping me at my strength and resolve. Nothing. Well, I don't think my punchline is really going to be too relevant at this point, so let's just move on to the next joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, should we do the arteriosclerotic phlegm show? I'll say one thing, you're not much of a straight man. Gee, thanks. Well, you're pretty odd yourself. This isn't Bing Crosby and Bob Hope. Oh yeah? Wow. Huh. I, I, I can't see you out there. I have a teleprompter embedded in my skull. Huh. So Francis, do you have any jokes about current events? I was going to make up some jokes about current events. So I picked up the Boston Globe on the way over here. Operation Restore Hope. It's the Dick Gregory method of comedy. And then I remembered the Boston Globe doesn't cover current events. No, for that, I think you need the Philadelphia Times Chronicle, which was not published after 1786. And what, what was this paper? The Boston Herald, the I move my lips when I read paper. The Boston Wake Me Up When It's All Over Globe. Gossip in words and gossip in pictures. Would you do your prize winning Jimmy Stewart impression? That's why it's a prize winning one. He doesn't have one. <laughs> well, Steve. Yes, I have the unique ability. I have the unique ability to restrain myself from attempting to do mediocre Jimmy Stewart impressions. Do you have any other mediocre impressions you'd like to share with us before we close the show? Nah, not really. Here he is, apathetic man. No, I'll, uh, do, I'll do it. Uh... That's the best applause we've heard all night here. <laughs> I will, if I were a professional, I would milk it, but since I'm not, bye. See, please. Do it then, do it! This is your standard comedian thing. Oh, I should have done my fag at the ballpark joke. Well, do it, get up here and do it, damn you, do it! No, no. That's not what it was. Okay, what was it then? It was my wrong hero impression. Since I actually don't really have one, so I was wondering if anyone else out there has one. Would anyone like to do a wrong hero impression? Tim, you can do a good wrong hero impression. Um, well, yeah, I'll have to give you a minute to think about it. We'll give Tim Clifford, the man from Newton, Massachusetts. Brooklyn. Jamaica Plain. Yeah, you grew up in 
<laughs> you have to think about his wrong hero impression. Would you like to do a wrong hero impression? With three caballeros, three sexually ambiguous caballeros, you are beginning to bore me. <laughs> Do you want to know why? Because you make me Thank <laughs> you.